antioxidant supplements and skin cancer prevention. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. We know that ultraviolet light damages our skin and it can lead to wrinkles and also skin cancer and of course melanoma is the most serious one. So how does this happen? Well, ultraviolet light, these wavelengths don't just hit the skin and bounce off, they actually penetrate into the skin and go down into the layers of the epidermis and then even further down into the lower levels called the dermis where the connective tissue is. And the epidermis is the more superficial cells closer to the surface. And the epidermal cells, because they're, they're cells that are alive except for the top layer, but the cells that are moving up the chain that will soon become the top layer of cells are cells that are alive and they have oxygen in them, they're generating energy. And ultraviolet light waves of a certain aspect within a certain spectrum uh, interact with the oxygen in those cells and convert the oxygen into oxygen-free radicals, and such as the superoxide anion. And the superoxide anion da does a lot of damage to the cells, including genetic damage that can lead to cancer. And then sometimes you can form other types of free radicals known as hydroxy radicals, which are even more dangerous and can do even more damage to the DNA. So the epidermal cells, to protect themselves, make some antioxidant enzymes like glutathione peroxidase and catalase. But they also rely on nutritional antioxidants that you take in orally. Some, some of the vitamin C that you take in orally gets into the skin cell from the bloodstream and helps to protect the skin cell from these free radicals. Vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotene, zinc, selenium, lycopene, and a few others actually come from the bloodstream into the, the, the cells themselves in the skin and, and add another layer of protection against ultraviolet light damage to the skin cells. In fact, human clinical studies have proven that if you take two groups of people and you give one group antioxidant supplements and the other group gets a placebo just for a couple of weeks and then you expose them to ultraviolet light the same dose, that the group that got the antioxidants show much less uh, skin cell damage, not just wrinkling and photoaging damage, but also less damage to the DNA and other factors within the cell that would be linked to steps in cancer development. So we see a true protective effect. Now understand that in the lower layers of the skin, in the dermis where you have connective tissue and blood vessels, ultraviolet light that reaches those deeper levels cause cross-linking of, of connective tissue so you start to get wrinkles and you start to rearrange other components known as the glycosaminoglycans, don't worry about it, but those are the molecules that absorb water for skin moisture. So as you start to damage these structures, there's less moisture in the skin, you get cross-linking, wrinkles start to develop. And also you get, of course, freckling of the skin and, and it becomes more mottled and it becomes uh, more uh, uh, age uh, impacted. So the way to protect your skin, of course, is to avoid overexposure to ultraviolet light. Wear protective clothing, wear a higher SPF sunscreen, and you've been told these things before. But the missing link in the skin, the skin care story is that we need to fortify our skin cells with more antioxidants to help protect us even further against ultraviolet light damage. That means taking a multiple vitamin every day that has 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, 400 IUs of vitamin E succinate, 15,000 IUs of beta carotene, 200 micrograms of selenium, 15 milligrams of zinc, 6 milligrams of lycopene powder, about 2,500 IUs of vitamin A. Those are the synergistic antioxidants that go from the bloodstream into the skin cells and help to protect your skin cells from ultraviolet light coming from, from uh, the sun. So that's uh, an important part of the strategy that most people are leaving out and it's, it's, uh, it's emerging to be extremely important. So click on the link below to read my review article on this. It's called, How Ultraviolet Light Causes Skin Cancer and Photoaging of the Skin, The Protective Role of Nutritional Antioxidants. All the scientific references are there. It's a must read for you. It'll explain exactly what to do and how to do it so you help to protect your skin uh, over your lifetime. Now, machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources I've created that will help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. Uh, all my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with scientific references, so you'll know you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic you're, you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.